Hey guys, Jay here with Word of Advice TV. In this video, I wanna show you a little bit of a advanced furnace troubleshooting technique that can be very helpful when it comes to intermittent furnace problems. Nowadays, most furnaces have a control board in them that has a little LED light that blinks an error code if there's something wrong with the furnace. But the thing is, if you're having an intermittent problem, sometimes what happens is there's a problem, but by the time you start troubleshooting, that problem goes away and the furnace starts working just fine. If you look at the LED light, it's not blinking any codes and everything seems to be okay. Or another scenario is if you turn the furnace power switch off and on before you had a chance to take a look at that error code. If there is an error code blinking on that control board, resetting the power to the furnace will clear that code out. And there's a chance that the furnace will come on and work just fine while you're there looking at it. But once you leave, the problem may return. But the good news is that most of these high efficiency furnaces are able to recall previous error codes. I'm gonna show you how to recall the error codes on this carrier furnace right here. If you have a different brand, chances are you're able to do that as well, but in your case, the procedure might be a little bit different. If you have a Carrier or Bryant furnace, your steps are probably gonna be the same as mine, but if you have a different brand, you may be able to find the steps on how to recall the error codes on the back of the door. I really like how Carrier did it on this furnace. They have a wiring diagram on the back of the door. They have installation instructions and the error codes all on the back. With all the information on the back of the door, you might not even have to pull out the install manual. But if you can't find any recall information on the back of your furnace doors, then you're gonna have to consult your install manual to your furnace. Hopefully you have a paper copy, otherwise you're gonna have to use your model number to look it up online. So right above all the explanations of the different error codes, we see the instructions on how to do an error code recall. Let me show you an example of how this is done. In order to get to the dip switch that we're gonna to need to do the recall, we're gonna to need to take the bottom door off and we will need to turn the furnace power off as well. If you have a door switch that is not taped shut, then when you take the bottom door off, the power should automatically turn off to the furnace. According to the instructions, we need to disconnect the R thermostat wire. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that first. By the way, if your furnace does not have any wires going to the thermostat strip, and instead it has a plug that goes into this green thing right here that says ABCD, instead of disconnecting the red wires, you simply have to unplug that plug. And the next thing we need to do is locate the dip switch labeled as SW1-1. All these little switches in the corner of the control board are called dip switches. And they're basically just mini on-off switches that are used to adjust different settings on the furnace. Usually, these little dip switches are only adjusted by the installer when they're installing the furnace. So we don't need to mess with any of these switches except SW1-1. Right over here, we have the group of SW1 switches. Here's SW2 and here's SW3. And right on top, we have switch number one. The left position is off and the right position is on. The instructions tell us that we need to turn this switch to the on position. Okay, and I think that's it. We have the R wire disconnected, the first switch is in the on position, and now I can go ahead and turn the furnace power back on. With the power back on, if I push this door switch in, we should be able to see the previous error codes right away. So let's go ahead and do that, and I'm going to try to count them right as they come. One, two, three. One, two. So three short blinks, two long. One, two, three. One, two. Another 32. One, two, three. One, two. One, and one. Okay, one short blink, one long blink. So let's go ahead and take a look at the back of our furnace door again and see what these codes mean. Here's our list of error codes. If we scroll down and find 32, 32 is a pressure switch that did not close. And since we had that code three times in a row, that means that the furnace encountered this problem three times, which was followed by one one, which is no previous codes. 
So this means that the furnace ran into a pressure switch problem three times, and the furnace didn't register any other problems besides that. And that, my friends, is how you recall error codes. Don't forget to turn the furnace power switch back off, turn the SW1-1 dip switch back in the off position, reconnect the thermostat wires, put the doors back on, and you're good to go. And if you made it all the way to the end of the video, I have a story for you. A guy came into a pizza shop, and he was just gonna get a drink and be on his laptop doing some work. So when the waiter comes, he asks him, hey waiter, could you tell me what the Wi-Fi password is? And the waiter replies, you have to order a pizza first. So the guy says, well, okay, whatever, just get me a small pizza. 20 minutes later, the waiter comes back with that small pizza, puts it on the table, and gets ready to leave. The guy stops him and says, excuse me, sir, how about the Wi-Fi password? And the waiter looks at him confused and says, it's, you have to order a pizza first. 